Hey everybody, Paul here. In this week's video, I thought I'd talk about uh, my contest that I've got going on. Contest slash giveaway, whatever you want to call it. Um, now remember, to be involved, to be in the running for a free deck, you have to be a subscriber to my channel, and you have to leave a comment on any of the videos that have been posted from the big announcement until the end of the month, which You've got Power Move, you'll have this one, and I'm hoping you'll have one more before the end of the month. I thought that we would talk about uh, some of the decks that are in the, the giveaway. I actually own a duplicate of everything that's in there. And so we're going to go over right quick. Uh, some of these decks so you can get a look at them and see you know hope that you're interested in in some of them so you'll you'll definitely want to get involved now like the old standards and stuff here you know everybody's got standards everybody's seen them so there's not in my mind there's not much need to cover the standards so we're just kind of put those guys to the side and we'll talk about some of the other decks that are in here uh, let's see we'll start off with the pink nautic back deck it's a, it's a really nice deck I think it's pretty cool looking I'll show you what it looks like out of the box uh, They're pretty slick, you know, especially for a pink deck. The box is pretty simple, pretty basic. Not now the ordinary there. And uh, this is the back of the cards. Yeah. And basic, it's a pretty, you know, basic bicycle deck except for the their elaboration on the back of the cards. You know, here's your back of your Joker, you know, which is, you know, pretty standard. That's what the front looks like, you know. And then the rest of it is pretty standard. The uh, that's the Ace of Spades, which, you know, the Ace is pretty has got a nice design to it. But after you get past that, you know, most of the pips are pretty standard, you know, they're just a regular deck of cards but you know hey they'll add a little flair to your uh, to your decks that you you know do magic with or or whatever so uh, that's what that one looks like uh, next you have your white Nautic back deck, which I have one of those two, and it's pretty right on with the pink Nautic back deck. Whoa! Except we try not to throw them in the floor, and you know, again, nothing special about the box. It's just the box or tuck case, whatever you like to call it. The backs are just like the pink ones, except they're white, you know. And then again, everything is your pretty much run-of-the-mill bicycle deck. That's what the Ace of Spades looks like. And then everything else is just pretty regular, you know. But again, the backs look really nice, and uh, you know just kind of gives you some flair there you know and, you know we magic folk or anybody else who gets involved it's nice to have a little flair and flair in life you know so there was those uh, uh, the pluma decks the orange slash gold I don't even know what color you call this 
uh, Flumer deck. I actually have one of those, and it looks like this. Uh, now the Flumer decks, I like them a lot more than I do uh, than I do the Nautic back decks. There's nothing wrong with those decks. Uh, but I just I just like the way the the uh, backs look. It's just a little bit more, you know, in my mind, a little bit different. Uh, there's the Ace of Spades, you know, pretty colorful there. And then uh, your pips, they're uh, they're a little bit more slim lined in my mind, you know, regular cards, you know, your uh, court cards. Are nice but you know other than that they're just a regular standard deck of cards there's nothing special about them and, you know they they fan nice um, but they're pretty they got a little I think in my mind there's a little bit more pizzazz to those you know just because I simply like the back design a little better but that's just a personal opinion you may feel differently and that's okay too so there's the orange, gold, whatever you call your, you call that Pluma deck. And then last but not least, the blue Pluma deck. Now, there's one thing I can say about this deck. I have been using here, let me put that one back down. I have been using my bicycle Pluma deck a lot here lately and I like the way they feel uh, mine's mine's not in order because I've been like I said I've been playing with this one quite a bit but that's the uh, back of the card design which is just like the other one and the face there's your king of spades uh, on your pips and everything they're a little bit more slimline design there's the Ace of Spades looks nice, you know. Uh, but that one thing I will tell you about these, you know, they are, you know, bicycle. De they're a bicycle deck, and uh, you know I've been using the crap out of these, and uh, they wear. They're seeming. They are seemingly wearing out pretty quick. So, but hey, you know, they could be your special occasion cards or whatever. But again, these are just a regular deck of cards. So, with that being said, you know, once you take out the standards and those few special decks, I started wondering to myself, now Paul, you know, I know you're not made out of money, brother, because I know how much you make. But, can't we do just a little bit more? And I said, Sure, why not? So, I ran out and I got a few more decks. Now, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine online here not too long ago, and, and they suggested run out, you know, get zombie decks. People seem to be liking the zombie decks nowadays. Well, he couldn't be, in my mind, it's more spot on because every time I go, you know, shopping or you know look at looking for decks of cards or whatever I see the bicycle zombie deck is everywhere so guess what bam I got another one it's going in the prize bag so here in the target prize bag is a zombie deck of cards so that's a new entry so if you're interested in getting your own zombie deck you know this is the competition for you or a contest slash giveaway it's not much of a competition but I have you know I have my own that's what the back looks like you know there are your jokers of course that's upside down that's right side up and I like them because they got these little say sayings in the middle of them like you I don't know if you can read that if you can, I'll read it for you. 
keep up with the group. Stragglers will make a great meal. You know, and every card has some kind of little saying on it, you know. And they're pretty neat. You know, there's a, you know, the Jack of Diamonds, the Queen of Diamonds, King of Diamonds. You know, they're uh, they're a pretty novel novel type deck, but you know that's just me. I've never used them for anything. I just thought they were cool. I think I originally got these back sometime around uh, Halloween. I think I originally got those. Uh, let's see. Well, here is another. And, uh, one that I thought just had to be introduced and it's actually one of my very favorite got attacked by a ladybug sorry y'all one of my favorite decks and it is the bicycle dragon back deck this one is the red deck and this is the one I have and guess what it's going in the bag now I will tell you right now uh, this is not the first deck of these I have I bought and it hurts me to say this but just recently the one that I had been using uh, got destroyed somehow or another uh, back you know I've been sick this past week I, uh, when I got sick, I got sick in my car, I, not, I didn't, you know, get anything on them, but they got left in my car, and I don't know, I must have a, some kind of leak or something in my car, and, uh, they got wet, and you know what happens for cars when they get wet, they become pretty much no good anymore. So I had to go out and buy myself another uh, deck of them. So I thought, heck, why not? I like them. So I put them in the contest. For, or giveaway, whatever you want to call this. So if you've never seen them, which I don't know why you haven't. You must be living under a rock somewhere. These are what they look like. Because they've been around for a while, but I really do like them. Uh, again, these aren't, you know, overly special on the face. This is what the back looks like. Oh, these suckers are brand new. They came out of the box. They're slick as ice. You know, that's what they look like. Uh, like I said, one of my favorite decks, that's the Joker. Uh, your Ace of Spades. This is really standard. It's not, you know, nothing really special. And the pips are real standard, you know, bicycle. Uh, the court cards, that one, I don't know if you can tell. The court cards might have a little bit more color to them. Kind of a green hue to them. But uh, they're really nice. Plus, this is a deck for magicians because it has one of these cards and if you don't know what this card is well I'm not going to tell you but it is an awesome deck in my mind in my opinion everybody should you know want to have one so I threw it in the contest contest I'm sorry I have a hard time speaking slash giveaway so there's that and I thought to myself, well, I'd seen this deck at uh, my local Walmart. I thought, man, I want to get one. And so I finally broke down and got one. And the reason that it took me to break down and get it was these suckers, these are expensive. These suckers at my Walmart were like, you know, I don't know. 
ten dollars a pack which you know for collectors and people like that which I do sometimes consider myself a collector that's not a whole lot for a card but it is for me at Walmart but the tuck case is awesome this is the bicycle prestige deck and uh, I'll open them up I got these the red deck deck open and I'll show them to you uh, well, like I said the tuck case is pretty neat now the special thing about these cards I don't know if you can hear that these suckers are plastic these aren't made like regular cards you know now the back design does look pretty pretty slick you know but uh, you know once you get into the you know, and there's your Ace of Spades, it's your normal bicycle deck, you know, and the court cards are regular, standard, everyday court cards. And, but, you know, I can't fan these, these things. These are just, ugh, they feel definitely different, weird, you know, they clump up on me. But then again, I'm not much of a fan here. You may be able to work with them. Uh, they're like... Like I said, they're plastic. Whoa, really rubbery feeling. You know. And I just don't really care for them. <laughs> That's just me. But the tuck case is awesome. If I hadn't have paid $10 for them, I'd dump the cards and put something different in here. Walk around because it's plastic. It's hard hard plastic and you know so there we are but you know even though I don't personally like them that don't mean that you might not like them so I'm gonna throw in the blue deck which I didn't open because I got two of them so yeah I've spent like 20 bucks on these these decks or this you know these two decks by themselves maybe you can win this one it's going in the prize bag. How you like that, folks? So, you know, we sweetened the pot a little bit and uh, gave you guys more, you know, different ones, chances to win something different. Uh, so, don't forget, you know, you have to the end of the month to, you know, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to you know and all you had to do is leave a comment from the post of the big announcement up until the end of the month which like I said before the big announcement power move this video and like there should be one more video by the end of next week which will give you a couple more days to get involved so Come on, folks, because right now, you know, <laughs> the people that are involved already have got a really good shot at winning because this doesn't seem like there's that many people, you know, getting in on the comment subscribe game, which I don't see how it could be any easier. You know, either way, you know, if, even if you were to get a, you know, a standard deck, Hey, that's a free deck of cards you didn't have to pay for. You know, I look at it that way. Anytime I get something free, it's freaking awesome. And speaking of free, this came in the mail. And this is an invisible deck uh, and sad joker that I got from Patrick Paul 1203. And I just want to say thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Awesome. Love it. And while I'm doing my shout outs, and I promised a few people here along the way that I was going to give them some shout outs, uh, Magic Bros. Check those guys out. They're pretty freaking funny. I mean, the magic's pretty good too, but I can't help but just laugh and laugh when I watch those guys' video. It, they're freaking awesome. Check them out. You know, it's awesome. Uh, I want to send a shout out to my buddy Chase Lester at White Arch Magic. Uh, check him out. He's got some. Uh, he's got a contest going on 
I think every month this year and so get involved with that and uh, I think that's uh, just about wrapping it up so we'll get to the wrap up and that'll be it see you later alligator hey everybody that's it videos over just about for this week I know uh, I just want to say that I and my family both have been pretty sick this whole week it's been a rough week around the house so that's why it's a pretty cut and dry video and I didn't have any time this week to prepare anything in my mind that I thought was special to uh, show you guys so that's why it's pretty you know anyway uh, get a hold of me if there's something you want to see or want me to talk about you know I'm not hard to get a hold of I got my email I've got YouTube you can send me a message through YouTube Facebook zero hour TV 256 I'm right there uh, Twitter zero hour TV 256 you know and all this is in the links in the descriptions down below. So, with that being said, get involved with the contest slash giveaway. Subscribe, comment, it's not hard. And uh, I will see you guys next week. <laughs>